Okay, so here we are. So I have a, um, we'll call it a sacrificial little piece of uh, uh, melamine. Uh, it's actually a hardboard with uh, with a vinyl coating. Anyway, it just happens to be what I, I had handy. And uh, so I've just got a piece of two-way tape. I'm just going to stick it on the edge of this piece of melamine. Uh, that's not the right word, but I keep calling it that. Uh, and then, oh, and you've, I don't know if you've seen this yet or not, but it's my, my cute, uh, my hippie, my hippie backdrop for my, some of my videos. Since I've done that, I've shot some stuff on top of it. So I'm just, uh, obviously just stuck it to the end of the board here, and then I'm just going to, uh, cut off the excess. burnish it in. The hardest part of the whole procedure is getting the the backing off the off the two-way tape. I could have used the uh, you know masking tape super glue trick it's commonly referred to. Uh, something like this it's just uh, really quick to just grab my uh, roll of two-way tape. So and tape it down to this board with the uh, the line I want to to sand to, uh, and I am actually you know farther back into the piece of wood than the line. Well, I am on one end anyway, and actually that's not a bad thing. I'm pick, peeling it up so it can be on both ends because that piece of wood will uh, hardboard will slow me down uh, in the sander. I don't normally have blanks that are this this. Thin, uh, but I have a particular situation. If you're watching that video, you will you will know what the issue was. So I'm just going to point you over here at the sander and finish this up. I think you completely understand the the option here or the process. So now I can hold on to this, sand down to my line. I never have to worry about getting my fingers close to this thing. The other benefit is that uh, I now have a nice straight uh, bottom on the saddle because that disc is nice and straight. All right, that's a quick one. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.